What is going on guys, Avery here bringing you an Infinite Warfare video going over the combat rigs. We've already done the Synaptic, Phantom, and we have completed Merc. So if you guys want to check out those overviews, they're all down in the description. Fully detailed, you guys will know everything you want. I will have more of these, so check out my channel if you want. But anyway, moving on to today's rig so basically we have warfighter warfighter is a mid-range assault player and again in the trailer they did mention that he's fast paced with kills so i will be using this guy mostly because i do not really play the objective sadly but i will be using him for the kills and obviously the high kd so he is outfitted for operating in a variety of situations and i will be saying all of his payloads and traits so starting off with the first payload is the claw and the claw is probably the most memorable moment of the multiplayer trailer because it was such an, I guess, a unique and odd weapon to see within this trailer, and it definitely, I guess, left a little mark in your head. So, it's a rapid fire spread shot firearm with ricochet bull uh, ballistic rounds, and that is actually pretty unique because it does spread out at one point, kind of like a crossbow, but it unloads like a wave or sheet of bullets that also ricochet. So, if you're going over to an objective, you could annihilate everyone which are camping in it or literally just capping it. So moving on to the next one, we have Combat Focus, which is a game double kill streak points for a limited time. Now, if you're going to be using this either for getting kills or just sitting back and protecting your objective, again, this is a player that you want to be because you want to rack up those kills quickly and then you want to make sure you can protect your objective. So moving on to Overdrive, it grants a temporary speed urge. Well, again, guys, we've been seeing a lot of recycled Black Ops 3 specialists, but they have worked, so why not use them again? I actually do like Overdrive a lot, so I most likely will be running this. Now moving on to our traits. We have Ping, which kills and activates upon Sonar. So basically, when someone dies and upon their death, there's going to be a Sonar Ping that goes off and then tells your teammates, hey, these are the people around this one area, go get them. And I believe it gives you a little score bonus, so that is very unique in a sense. But moving on to the next trait, which is called Persistence, and Persistence score streaks no longer reset when you die, but take higher point values to obtain. Now this is where I get a little skeptic with the skill gap, guys, because, again, if you're like a fairly decent player, and you're being annihilated by like really good players or a team, you could still get these overpowered kill streaks without even, I guess, putting your all into it just because you're going to get it for getting slightly amount of kills or just getting a ton of kills and I, or a few kills with a terrible KD where it just doesn't make sense. So that's one thing I'm a little bit iffy about with the persistence um, trait, but moving on to resupply. Resupply didn't have a real definition to it, sadly, but again, I'm just assuming that it's going to give you full ammunition in your weapons when you do so, because if you're a mid-range assault player, you're going to be shooting a lot, and obviously if you're not running scavenger, if that is a perk in Infinite Warfare, this will definitely be a resupply that you want to use. And guys, again, I'm not at COD XP, so that's why I do not have the gameplay footage, but I do have all the information, which is literally confirmed within the trailers. I just took my time out of the day to check these out and send it, or make a video to give you guys. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, definitely drop a like. I've been doing a lot of these, and if you want to see more overviews, go to my channel. They will all be there. My name's Avery, and I'm out.